Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a table and load it with 52 cards that make up a deck of cards. Then we will write a function that will pick n cards from the table randomly. There's a lot to learn in this video. Make sure you watch until the end. Let's begin. The source code to this video is available on my GitHub account. We begin this project by creating the table deck. Notice deck card varchar 20. It's our primary key as well to make sure we have unique cards. In populate deck, this is how we put all the cards into the table called deck. Notice we begin the routine by removing all of the values from deck, truncate deck. And then we have two for loops. The first for loop, we're going to be looping over the card suit. Now notice that goes from club to spades. I put these in alphabetical order. And then the J loop loops over the card ranking and that goes from ace high all the way down to two. Every time I build a card value, the rank would be like ace of clubs. Then I would insert that one row into deck. Then I come back up here and I stay within the 13. As soon as the 13 is complete, it pops out of this loop, comes to line 26 and said, are we at the end of I? It comes back up and now I is two. So now we're gonna be working on diamonds. I think you see it. We just have two for loops and we're building the deck table. Let us now look at the most valuable function of this project pick random cards. Notice I have an input parameter called number of cards requested. So here you can pick a random number of cards based on your selection. Then we come down to returns set of text. Now, what does that mean? As you can see here, set of is a keyword and this specifies this function will return a set of values rather than a single value. So then we have a local variable called number of cards in deck. This will count the current state of the deck because we are gonna be deleting rows from the deck. So number of cards in deck will tell us how many cards are left. Selected cards, this is an array of text and notice we're initializing it to an empty array. And then we just have a selected card temp and that's a var char 20. On line 10, we're saying select count into number of cards in deck. Remember we declared that as an integer from deck. So this will go get the current state of the deck. Like how many cards are in there? If the number of cards requested is greater than the number of cards in the deck, that means they don't have enough in the deck to supply this. So then I'm gonna go perform that function populate deck and I'm gonna rebuild the deck. Now, once I do that, the count will go back up to 52. So this will be number of cards in deck will now be 52. Then we begin our for loop. Notice the for loop begins on line 17 and ends on line 27. Now what happens is we come down here and we say select card into selected card temp. Notice we define that on line 20. And then from, oh, look here, we have another select statement. Now, all of this is called is a subquery. Now, we can execute this by itself. And let's see what happens. Execute that. And notice our first one is eight of clubs. If I were to execute this statement again, I should always be getting a different card. Now, why do I say always? Well, because when I select this card, notice on line 23, I then delete this card from my list. So I would never get that card again. We have to make sure that we give out unique cards. So if I try to execute this again, Notice I get the five of diamonds, I get the five of clubs. You see what happens. That goes into selected card temp. Now on line 21, do you remember when we declared selected cards? I initialized it to an empty array. Well, now we're going to use array append. That means add it to the end. So here you can see selected card and then selected card temp, the new card. And then that gives us the new array. I just keep appending for the number of cards you want. I then remove that card from the deck. Remember, we started with 52 cards. Now I'm down to 51 cards. And then I'm decrementing our counter, number of cards in deck. Then I come back up, I get the next card. I execute this statement to go get me my next card. And what happens is, I'm now gonna take that eight of diamonds. I'm gonna append it. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna decrement my number of cards in deck. And I'm gonna do this for the number of cards requested when the person called this routine. After I've finished this loop, notice return query select 
a nest. Selected cards. You know selected cards was an array of text fields. We want to return just a list of unique cards. And there you have it team. How to use PostgreSQL to write a function that will return a set of unique card values. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. I look forward to seeing you back in my next video. And remember team, especially young developers, practice makes the master. Take care.